presupposing here means gender schemas and ideologies. Uh, roughly, we will define these things in the module. Uh, roughly, just to uh, begin with, when we talk, before talking, we have some assumptions in our mind. Those assumptions are never stated openly. We have them in our mind. We call them presupposition. Gender stereotypes are stored in our memory scheme in schemas. Okay. Whatever we think about things and persons, it is stored in our memory and it is stored in form of schemas as you store things in computer in files. Files are organized. So similarly, in your mind, you store information in schemas or in frames or in scripts. We have already discussed these concepts in previous modules. These schemas provide shared background knowledge to take part in communication. What's the importance of these schemas? This information, th this prior information that is organized in frames and schemas in our mind, the, the, its benefit is that whenever you enter in communication, you never start anew. You already know many things, and your addressee also know many things before you talk. Okay, why? Because you have this shared knowledge in your mind. So it makes your communication very efficient. So this background information, this is what in the beginning of the module, I said assumptions that we have in our mind, these are called presupposition. The background knowledge is called presupposition in simpler words. Gender stereotypes, we have used this term so many times. Actually, uh, just uh, for understanding, I would try to define it with reference to prototype. Prototype is a typical example of something. For example, uh, we have an, a, a typical image of a teacher. So that is, that typical image is prototype. Now the features of that image, the list of attributes and characteristics and qualities, bad or good. So that list is called stereotype. That list, these stereotypes, that is also part of our presupposition. It is also a given in our mind, it is stored in our mind. So whenever we talk about male or female participants, so this stereotype also affects our meaning, our communication. For example, a tax officer interviews a couple, but he asks questions about income only from the male not from the woman, because he presupposes that he is the person who earns, he is responsible for earning, and he knows the income and tax matters, etc. Similarly, if uh, you are invited at some dinner, and after dinner the guest appreciates the woman for uh, her skill in cooking, uh, the food was very tasty, and uh, the interior was uh, very uh, uh, nicely uh, decorated. Uh, so what is this? He doesn't uh, um, say these things about uh, the husband or the male member of the family. He says these things for the woman. Why? Because he presupposes that these things are jobs or duties of the woman. Similarly, sometimes words in language 
also convey some uh, presupposition. Uh, these are two examples. You say, she is beautiful, but exceptionally intelligent. So, in fact, this but shows that uh, you are talking about two contrasting things. There is some contrast in uh, your mind between beauty and intelligence. It, 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 this presupposition that exists in your mind is conveyed by this single word but. Same is the case with even. Even my mother could understand that book. So this even conveys a presupposition in mind of the speaker. The speaker presupposed that my mother, I couldn't expect that my mother could understand a book on language and gender, for example. So, uh, but she did. So, this uh, is a surprise, the, uh, this uh, show of uh, something that was unexpected, it was presupposed by the talker and it is conveyed by the use of this single word even. So, we conclude it is not words, rather presuppositions which are gendered. Words, language has nothing to do with gender. To say that this is men's language, this is women's language. So, according to this viewpoint, this is wrong. It is the stereotypes, it is the presuppositions which exist in our mind about men and women. Actually, they, they matter. The problem is that presuppositions are hidden, they are in mind, they are never expressed. And when they are expressed and somebody notices them, and if they are further strengthened and reinforced and confirmed by others, they become gender ideal. This is how the journey from presupposition to ideology is covered. And so much important these presuppositions are.